read you the entire book. It had one sentence. Families can also be two parents that are mothers and two parents that are fathers. They were told, the parents at that school, that if it was very difficult for their children to be in that room, that they didn't have to be in the room. They announced the assembly, told all the parents, if this is a problem for you, we get it. You know, I've been confronting this issue my entire life. I have been threatened. I have been harassed. I've been denied jobs because of who I am and who I love. Now, a lot of people out there I talk to outside Satakai say, oh, I have a gay cousin, I have a gay nephew, I can't be homophobic. B.S. B.S. You can be homophobic and have a gay friend, a gay neighbor, a gay son, a gay anything. Talk to all the gay kids that get thrown out of their houses and onto the streets by parents who say, I won't have you in my house any longer. And tell me that having a gay relative means that you're not homophobic. But here's what really scares me. When you have two or three days of this kind of chaos, of people screaming at the top of their lungs, outside a school that read a book with one sentence in it that said, yeah, guess what? Families can include two moms and two dads. By the way, at the little discussion at the school after that, as soon as the book was over, one of the little girls sitting at my knees said, I have two mommies. But a little boy on my other side said, I have five grandmas. <laughs> the idea that there are different kinds of families. The people screaming out at the streets, they didn't get a chance to find out about that because they made a decision based on hearsay. They made a decision based on agitators, not from their community, but from outside their community who saw an opportunity to take advantage of the real fears of people. I want to be very, very, very clear. Nobody has to accept me. I'm not looking for your acceptance. But you better treat me the same way you treat everybody else. That's how we live in this country. You don't have to love me. You don't have to like me. You can think I'm the devil incarnate. But you better treat me like a decent human being because that's how I treat you, even though you don't believe that I have the right to exist. I am very tired of having young people and adults in the LGBT community hear uh, three days of yelling and screaming about this. What do you think that did to them? What do you think that did to every gay teacher, every gay custodian, every gay worker in this city, every gay kid? What do you think that did to them? It made them afraid. It made them afraid. How dare you make them afraid because you are? I'm sorry. I told you this was personal. I went through with this. My son was harassed because he had two mommies. But my grandchildren aren't. That's progress. But I say to all of you, nobody in this district will ever ever sexualize any kid for any reason in any classroom in any way, shape, or form. And those of you who believe that this might happen are allowed to read the curriculum materials, are invited into the assemblies with your children, are invited not to have your children go to the assemblies. I do not believe in forcing a parent to have a child attend assembly that they feel would be violating their values. That's fine with me. We don't all have to agree. In fact, none of us all agree.